In today's tutorial, I'll be working on these easy to crochet, warm and comfortable folded cuff baby booties. For work, I'll be using two colors of yarn, a crochet hook, some stitch markers, a measuring tape, and four small bead end cuffs for crochet cords. These crochet baby booties work up quickly with no seams. I'll divide my work in two parts. First, I'll be working on the sole, making only two rounds of double crochet stitches. And then I'll continue crocheting the upper part. It is seven more rounds plus one more round of trimming. Let's begin the work. Start the sole by making a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the foundation chain. Now begin the first round. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, and three. Then skip three chain stitches away from the hook. One, two, three, and into the next fourth chain stitch, double crochet twice. One, and then double crochet one more time into the same chain stitch. Two. Continue and double crochet into each of next five chain stitches. One. Two. Three. Four and double crochet into the next stitch. Five. Now into the last chain of the foundation, make five double crochet stitches. One. Two, three. Now turn the work upside down and double crochet two more into the same chain stitch. I made three. We need to double crochet two more. Four and the last double into the same stitch, five. Here what we have. Then continue the first round, working through the same chain stitches of the foundation chain going back. So double crochet into each of next five chain stitches. One, two, Three, four, and five. Now into the last chain stitch, double crochet twice. One and double crochet into the same stitch. Two. Complete the first round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. One, two, three. The first round is ready. Now let's continue and begin crocheting the second round. 
So chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Then double crochet to the same chain stitch that we've just worked a slip stitch into. Then double crochet twice into each of next two stitches of previous round. So into the next stitch, double crochet twice. One and two. Into the next stitch, work the same double crochet twice. One and two. Continue and double crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, Three, four, and five. Then double crochet twice into each of next two stitches. So again into the next stitch, double crochet two times. One, two, then into the next stitch, double crochet twice, one, and two. Now into the next stitch of previous round, work the same double crochet twice. One, and two. Now insert the stitch marker into the space between the stitches, between the last two doubles we've just made. It is going to be the center of the toe part. Again, here I inserted the stitch marker not into the stitch but between the two stitches. It is between the two last double crochet stitches we made. Now continue and double crochet twice into the following two stitches. One, two, then work into the following stitch, double crochet one, and two. Then continue and work the same as on the opposite side. Double crochet into each of next five stitches. One. Two, three, four, and five. Now continue and double crochet twice into the following two stitches of previous round. So into the next stitch, double crochet twice. One and 
two, and into the last double of previous round, work the same. Double crochet one and two. Now complete the second round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch we made on the beginning of this round. Here what we have so far. With the second round we've completed the sole of the booty. This is its right side and this is its reverse. You remember that the stitch marker shows us the center of the toe part. Now let's begin the next third round. With this round I'll begin the upper part of our booty. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3. And double crochet into each stage of previous round. Double crochet into each double of previous round. Double crochet into each stitch till the end of the round. Do not forget to move the stitch marker to the new round. Keep working double crochet till the end. Here I'm about to complete the third round. I need to double crochet into the last double of previous round. And now make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. One, two, three. Here, round three is ready. As you can see, I moved the stitch marker to the third round, inserting it in between the stitches, the same as it was in previous round. Now, before we continue with the next fourth round, I'll do some marking to know where we need to start decreasing the stitch count. Here on the toe part, we need to mark the fifth stitch away from this middle stitch marker to both sides. So let's count to the right first. One, two, three, four, five. And insert the stitch marker into the fifth stitch, into the fifth double. Now count to the left away from the middle marker. Here. One, two, three, four, five. And insert the stitch marker into the fifth stitch here. Now double check yourself to make sure you did the counting right. One, two, three, four, five. And here. One, two, three, four, five. Everything is correct. Now we can begin crocheting the next fourth round. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. And double crochet into each stitch. Work all the way till you reach the first stitch marker. Double crochet into each double of previous round. I need to double crochet into two more stitches, one and two. Now I'll continue with the decrease stitch. Remove the next stitch marker and double crochet two together. Begin the first double into the next stitch that was with the stitch marker. Work the double like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Then begin the second double into the next stitch, 
work until you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three to complete the decrease stitch. Then again double crochet two together, begin the first double into the next stitch, stop when you have two loops. Then begin the second double into the following stitch and stop when you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Now let's remove the middle stitch marker that is between the doubles of previous round and continue the work. Continue and double crochet two together. Begin the first double into the next stitch, work it like you would until you have two loops on the hook. Then begin the second double into the following stitch and stop when you have three loops, then yarn over and pull through three. The decrease stitch is made. Now insert the stitch marker into this decrease stitch we've just made. Like this. Continue and double crochet two together two more times. It is the same as we did before the middle marker. Do not complete the first double, then do not complete the second one. Yarn over and pull through three. And again double crochet two together, begin the first double into the next stage, stop when you have two loops, and the second double work into the following stage that is with the stage marker. Remove it and begin the second double, stop when you have three loops on the hook. Then yarn over and pull through three. Now continue and double crochet into each stage till the end of the round. Double crochet into each double of previous round. Let's stop here and take a look at what we have. After the decreasing, you can see the toe of the booty very well. Here how it looks. Now we need to complete this round. Continue and double crochet into each stitch till the end. Let's do it together. double crochet into the last double of previous round and now complete the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch we made on the beginning. Round four is ready and here how the booty looks at this point. Now let's continue with the next round, round five. Before we begin the fifth round, let's mark two more stitches where we need to start decreasing. Mark the third stitch to the right away from the middle decrease stitch that is with the stitch marker right now. Here, one, two, three, insert the stitch marker into the third stitch. And do the same to the other side to the left. One, two, three. Insert the stitch marker into the third stitch. Here do not count this middle stitch. One, two, three to the right and here one, two, three to the left. Now let's continue with round five. Chain three to bring up the yarn. One, two, three. Then double crochet into each stitch all the way till the first stitch marker.
here I need to double crochet into the next two stitches one and two now remove the next stitch marker and double crochet two together begin the first double into the next stitch that was with the marker stop when you have two loops then begin the second double into the next stitch stop when you have three loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through three to complete the decrease stitch then remove the next middle marker we don't need it anymore and double crochet three together begin the first double into the next stitch work it like you would and stop when you have two loops on the hook then begin the second double into the next stitch that was with the marker and stop when you have three loops and work the third double into the following stitch and when you have four loops yarn over and pull through four to complete the decrease stitch double crochet three together then again double crochet two together begin the first double into the next stitch stop when you have two loops on the hook then begin the second double into the following stitch that is with the marker remove the marker and work the second double work it like you would and stop when you have three loops on the hook then yarn over and pull through three to complete the decrease stitch double crochet two together is ready we're done with the decrease stitches now continue and double crochet in a row till the end of this round Here, let me stop here and show you the toe. Here, how it looks so far. Continue, let's complete this round and begin the next one. So, double crochet into each stitch till the end of the round. Here, double crochet into the last double of previous round and now make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch round five is finished this is the last round where I decreased the stitch count and here what we have at this point Let's begin the next round, round six, which is very simple. Chain three to bring up the yarn and double crochet into each stitch of previous round. Keep working till the end of this round. Double crochet into each stitch of previous round. I'm about to complete round six. Double crochet into the last stitch of previous round. And then make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Round six is ready. Now let's begin round seven, which is the same as round six. So chain three to bring up the yarn and then double crochet into each stage of previous round. Continue, double crochet till the end of this round.
Let's complete round 7 and begin the next one. Double crochet into the last stitch of previous round. And then make a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Here I made two straight rounds of double crochet stitches. These are round 6 and 7. And here what we have now. Let's start the next round, round 8. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3. And then chain 1 more for the chain space. Double crochet into the next stage of previous round. It is into the first double. Again, chain 1 for the chain space and double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat, chain 1, double crochet into the next stitch of previous round, chain 1 and double crochet. Again, chain 1 and double crochet into the next stitch of previous round. Keep working the same till the end of this round. Let's complete round 8. I chained 1, now double crochet into the last stitch of previous round. Then again chain 1 and make a slip stitch into 1, 2, 3, third chain stitch on the beginning of this round. Round 8 is ready and with this round I began the cuff. I made the chain spaces here to increase the stitch count and have chance to fold the cuff. And also into the chain spaces of this round I'll draw the crochet cord later to tie up the booty. The next ninth round and the round of trimming I'll be crocheting from the inside. So turn the work. Then chain 3 to bring up the yarn. 1, 2, 3 and double crochet into the first chain space of one of previous round. Then double crochet into the next double. Again double crochet into the next chain space and then double crochet into the following double. Repeat double crochet into the chain space and then into the double. Here what we have. Later when we fold this upper part, the right side of it will be facing out. Continue and double crochet in this way till the end of the round. Let's complete round 9 together and begin the next one. Double crochet into the last double of previous round. And then double crochet into the last chain space of 1. Now finish the round by making a slip stitch into the third chain stitch. Here 1, 2, 3. No, it's here. One, two, three. With this slip stitch, I'm going to change the yarn to make the trim in a different color. So insert the hook into the third chain stitch, take the new yarn and pull up a loop through the chain stitch, and then pull this loop through the loop on your hook. The slip stitch is made, and as you can see now, I'll continue with the white color. Now you can cut off the main yarn and hide the tail. Let's see. This is how our booty looks so far. Now I'm going to make one more round of a reverse single crochet trim. So begin round 10. Chain 1 to bring up the yarn. And then reverse single crochet into each stitch. Reverse single crochet is a regular single crochet worked in the reverse direction, going from the left to the right. So insert the hook into the next stitch to the right, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. 
Insert the hook into the next stitch to the right, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Keep working reverse single crochet till the end of the round. Work into each stitch. To complete round 10, reverse single crochet into the last stitches, first into the chain stitch that we started this round from, and then into the first double that we worked the first reverse single crochet into. Here, let's work into the double. Now insert the hook into the first reverse single crochet stitch from the back, then take the working loop and pull it through. That said, round 10 is finished. You can cut off the yarn here. Now let's take a look at our booty. It is soft and warm and has a nice folded cuff. I just need to make a simple cord to have chance to tie up the booties on the foot and then we're done with this project. Here you can see that the trim I was working of double yarn, it is just because this white yarn is a bit thinner than the main yarn I was using. That's why I made it double. Let's continue. Now I'll be making the cord using the same white yarn. The cord will be made of simple crochet chain. Here the same I'm using the double yarn, the white one. Make a slip knot and then make as many chain stitches as you think you need. I'll do about 45 chain stitches. To the beginning and to the end of the chain, I'll add such a pretty bead and cups. You can find a lot of different designs of these bead cups on the market. The second booty worked the exact same way as the first one. Here I have both of them ready. They are warm, comfortable and have a simple style. They work up very quickly with no seams and make the perfect gift for a baby, a boy or a girl. Now let's measure the sole. In my case, it measures 11 centimeters. Hope you like this project. Please let us know in comments below and give us thumbs up. For more free video tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channels and visit our website at SharonKneading.com. Thank you so much for watching.